We are Short Globe Life. Interviews with dozens of former employees and analysis of hundreds of documents revealed widespread fraud at one of America's biggest life insurance companies and its largest subsidiary, American Income Life, which sells life insurance to working-class Americans. American Income Life is so important to Globe Life that it generates 50% of total profits. Former employees we've interviewed told us that American Income Life sales reps forge customer signatures to write fake policies, create policies for dead people, create fake policies by signing up customers without their consent, and commit actuarial fraud by lying about whether policyholders smoke. Here's a video celebrating AIL's top grossing agent of 2022. What a success story, right? Is coming all the way behind all year long and on the last day crushing and setting the all-time record. They had a guy on Christmas week write $270,000 worth of business. Now listen, I've been in insurance sales for 37 years. To write a policy with us takes a good hour. I don't know how you can write $300,000 worth of business in three days. I mean, there's just not enough hours in the day. AIL agents describe themselves as the new wolves of Wall Street. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. To me, being a gangster was better than being president of the United States. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hold on, bro. Come on, we got to get this money, guys. Get this money. People ask me all the time, Nick, how are you able to do so many trips and travel so much at 25 years old? The answer is I sell life insurance with Globe Life American Income Life Division. I dropped out of college at 19 years old, and I've been able to generate millions of dollars in revenue since then. In July 2021, I joined AO. And since then, nothing has been safe. Who's gone out and written over $2 million of production in two years. There's multiple people in the company in their very first year, easily clearing six figures. And I'm making $1,000 sales every single day. I was able to write 10K my first month. How old are you? I'm 22. 22 and made over 300,000. College education? No college education. Kevin, how old are you? 20. And what kind of car do you drive? AMG GT. Justin, how old are you and what kind of car do you drive? Uh, 24, and I drive a 2022 C8 Corvette. How old are you and what kind of car do you drive? I am 21 years old and I have a McLaren GT. Investors mistakenly think this problem is only limited to one sales team led by Simon Arias, a sales team that former agents say is known for insurance fraud, rampant drug use, sexual harassment, and bad motivational speeches. If you see the no's as ways to you getting closer to winning, and the wins as you truly winning, then you can't lose. But we have discovered fraud at numerous other top-performing sales teams across the United States. These teams account for more than 60% of their new business. We are just beginning to examine if these issues are also pervasive at Globe Life's smaller subsidiaries Liberty National or United American. How has this happened at a storied 70-year-old company? Former executives and agents told us that the fraud began in 2017 after Steve Greer took over as CEO and then David Zofin became president. From 2017 on, it became a lot more rampant and a lot bigger numbers. You never had that before. Zofin and Globe Life executives are not only aware of widespread insurance fraud, but legal complaints state that Zofin and a Globe Life senior vice president engaged in their own illegal kickback and bribery scheme. The executives lied to regulators, concealing their ownership of a course to prep for licensing exams they used to make money by upcharging their own recruits. It's estimated executives pocketed more than $65 million. Meanwhile, the sales teams make no effort to hide the fact that they're running an MLM bordering on an illegal pyramid scheme. Did you sell it all last week? Oh, uh, no, I didn't sell sales. No sales made, still made five grand. Reviews reveal recruiting is compensated better than actually selling life insurance. Many call the sales organizations a pyramid scheme. We went undercover and interviewed to join the sales teams. In multiple interviews, recruiters explained to us how we would have an upline and that we could make more money recruiting people than selling insurance. Even worse, American Income Life Management enabled or otherwise encouraged a culture of misogyny, sexual violence, and racism at some of their top sales teams, according to a slate of recent lawsuits and former employee interviews. Richard Zucato, a managing agent in my sales team, choked me and forced me to perform oral sex on him. He sexually assaulted me on multiple occasions. I requested a transfer, and AIL President David Zofin stepped in and denied my request.
At another American Income Life sales team, supervisors demanded oral sex for promotions and masturbated in front of female subordinates. Warren Buffett owned Globe Lifestock for 20 years. He dumped it all last year. And online customer reviews of American Income Life often give it a one-star rating, complaining that their sales reps signed them up for life insurance they didn't want, asked for their checking account to verify their eligibility status, and then started withdrawing cash, or that it's nearly impossible to cancel their policies, and that sales reps repeatedly violate federal anti-harassment laws with non-stop calls, texts, and home visits, and the Department of Justice is already investigating. We have discovered widespread allegations of fraud. We believe the sheer volume of bad policies will impact Globe Life's bottom line, and executives could face federal and state prosecution. Will Globe Life clean house and save itself, or will they allow the fraud to continue? Either way, we are short Globe Life. Uh, Count money, man. Money, Stack man. riches. Try, try, and told, try and told him I'm a beast, blood. You gon' make it rain, then I'ma make it flood. 